This is a balloon. But have you really thought about how this tiny thing is so loud? I mean, water balloons don't make any noise. And if you stretch a rubber band and let it go, it doesn't make much noise. If you let the air out of a balloon, you'll notice the pressure isn't that high. So what's going on here? Why do balloons pop? It's not quite what I wanted, but this is a very good example of why you've got to get all the air out of these things before you hydroform it. When I fill it up, I fill it up to the top and I make sure there is no bubble of air at the top here which can be compressed, because obviously had that have had air in it when it goes bang, it would have been a much bigger and more powerful explosion. Because it's just full of water, which is non-compressible, you just get a little bit of a pop, it splits open, that's it. Makes you jump, that's about it. We're all still standing, I've still got a garage. This is what started my curiosity. If Colin had filled the metal sphere with air instead of water, would it really have caused a huge explosion? I mean, I assumed he was right, which would mean that pressure inside a balloon causes the popping noise. It is true that liquids are incompressible, but this does not mean they can't be pressurized. Counterintuitively, incompressible means that the volume can't change. If the pressure of water couldn't change, then Colin's hydroforming just wouldn't work. So it must not just be pressure that causes sound when a balloon pops, because then water balloons would make the same noise. The argument here is that expansion of air causes the popping sound. After doing some reading on some forums, the most reliable place to ascertain information, I found a new theory that sounded impossible. My guess is that the burst balloon fabric, which was stretched significantly, returns to its original shape. This probably happens faster than the speed of sound, causing shock waves to form and generating the pressure change that you hear as a pop. Does the latex on a balloon really move faster than the speed of sound? We can look at slow motion video to give us a rough idea if that theory could be right. From this footage, we can see that at 0.9 milliseconds, the balloon begins to pop. We can approximate the speed of the latex between this frame and the 1.2 millisecond frame to be about one centimeter traveled in 0.3 milliseconds. This translates to 33 meters per second which is 10 times less than the speed of sound. I looked at other footage too, and the fastest I estimated the latex to be traveling at was about 200 meters per second. The speed of sound is 343 meters per second. So it has to be the pressure in the balloon causing the noise then. What pressure do we actually see in regular balloons? Would you guess two times atmosphere, three times? Balloons only hold about 5% above atmospheric pressure. And what's wild about this is that the pressure is actually higher when the balloon is smaller, up to a certain point. When I open the valve, the balloons will become connected and they'll equalize, and this guy will get bigger. Ready? Three, two, one. I just want to grab his beautiful bald head like a basketball. Um, all right, so the mystery is unsolved. What do you think makes a balloon pop? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Psych. Of course, there's some scientists who spent years of research trying to figure out how balloon make noise. Well, 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 if it isn't NASA. This paper was only published in 2019, so I guess the reason balloons pop was only recently completely figured out? The scientists discussed three previously proposed postulations. The first is that as a balloon pops, pressure rushes outward, creating low pressure where the balloon was, then atmospheric pressure rushes back in to fill the space, and the cycle continues, creating sound waves. The second is that latex moves fast enough to create a sonic boom when a balloon bursts, just like our forum user posted. And the third is that latex acts like a drum. Pressure waves ripple across the surface of the taut latex as it's popping. This is where things get super interesting. The researchers use something called a shadow graph. A shadow graph is a fluid flow visualization similar to Schlieren imaging. If you've ever seen ripples in the air above a fire, you already know the idea behind this technique. When you take shadow graphs of a balloon popping, you're able to visualize all the air currents and perhaps even the sound waves generated by the balloon burst. The researchers say, 
pressure waves are shed from the latex surface and at the ripped edges as they ripple and pull away from the breach in the surface. And the edges of the tear oscillate as they retreat from the breach, creating ripples on the stretched skin of the balloon at its natural frequency. They also point out that the max speed they saw any of the latex moving was 100 meters per second, and that the pressure difference in the balloon was nowhere near large enough to cause a sound wave. So neither of my two original theories were right. This next shadow graph is really freaking cool. It has our answer to everything. If you're enjoying the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. This figure shows the generation of a pressure wave emanating from the surface of the balloon. In particular, the sound wave precedes the propagation of the tear. See the little white arrow? This definitively shows that the sound of a popping balloon is coming from the surface of the balloon, not the tearing and not the breaking of a pressure differential. The researchers also showed that the sound wave was moving at about two and a half kilohertz, which was pretty close to the main frequency of the sound they recorded when popping the balloon. As a last little cherry on top, the scientists showed that the amount of sound produced is directly proportional to the energy in the balloon, where the energy in the balloon is proportional to the volume, pressure, and density of the fluid inside of the balloon. If you have a super big, high pressure balloon, you're going to make a bigger sound than a tiny balloon with just a little pressure. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, I know this video isn't DIY or biotech, but I stumbled upon this science and I thought it was cool enough to share. It really helps me if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.